Hi, my name is Nick Anderson, and today I'm going to teach you how to import a preset into Logic Pro X for your plugins. This could be something that you downloaded from a website. It could be something that a friend shared with you. Either way, this will work for .pst files. And this is different than channel strip settings, which are .cst files. I do have a video explaining how to import those in the description below. Presets are for specific plugins like the Amp Designer or Channel EQ. It will load specifically for that preset. Channel strip settings are for if you have a track or a channel with multiple plugins, it'll load all of those at once. So this is for PST files or presets. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so most likely your downloaded preset is in your downloads folder. If you downloaded it to your desktop or something, you'll want to open that up. But we'll go to our finder here and we'll open up wherever you have that preset saved. For me, I just downloaded this one. It's called Mrs. Doubtfire.pst. So we are going to make sure we have that highlighted there in our downloads. And then we're going to go up here and uh, click File and New Finder Window. This way, when we are to our correct folder, we can just easily drag and drop that to where we need it to be. All right, next thing you want to do is click your Home icon and then go to music. My home icon says Nick Anderson. Yours will say something different, um, but you can see that little home there. Um, then click on music. Then we're going to click on audio music apps. Then we're going to click on plugin settings. Then you're going to find the plugin that you downloaded this for. Um, if you don't know what you downloaded it for, you can probably find it in the download page or ask your friend. Um, in this case, this is a preset for the vocal transformer. You can see all the different plugins that are here. Find the one that this preset is for. We'll go vocal transformer. And then here's our Mrs. Doubtfire.pst. We are going to drag that right into the vocal transformer. Awesome. So there it is. Um, and then we can open Logic. And then we will create a new track. Um, we're going to do an audio track in this case. And then let's go to our vocal transformer, which we just imported, imported that, that preset, preset for. for. We can, we can click, click on our on top, top here where it says factory, factory default. default. And, and then, then right, right here, you'll, you'll see, see it, it says Mrs. Doubtfire, Doubtfire which, which is that preset that, that we just put, put in that, that folder. folder. So, so we're, we're clicking on this. Right. And hello, hello children. children, it's so nice to see you. You can see that that uh, preset is now in there. All right, we're going to turn that off so that you can hear me normal again. That's all there is to it. It's super easy to do. Again, if you are trying to import a channel strip setting, I have another video for that below. But I hope you enjoyed this video on how to import a preset into Logic Pro X. If you did, subscribe. I've got lots of tutorials and presets and uh, things that we build together on this channel. Otherwise, if you have questions, feel free to leave those in the comments, and we'll see you next time.